Hello everyone, welcome to the Game Shed. Today we'll be running through an Xbox Soft Mod kit, uh, pre-packed and ready to go, supplied by xbmcxbox.blogspot.com. So you can go on that site, buy a pre-loaded Xbox memory card, which comes with all the software you need. Um, you can even rent it from them and you'll need a copy of Splinter Cell, the original disc. You'll need dashboard 5960 for the original Xbox and an Ethernet cable. Then you can pop all the emulators that you can see here plus plenty more onto your original Xbox and have an all-in-one fun machine. So let's get this up and running and I shall guide you through how to go about doing this. Okay, so power up your Xbox and let's have a look at which dashboard you've got. So you'll need to flick to the system info option within settings. Okay, once inside here, just let the text scroll and eventually you will come to um, there's just four numbers you're looking for. You're looking for 5960. It's right down the bottom. Here it comes. Right, under D for dash, you can see there after the two zeros, 5960. And that's what you're after. If that is your dashboard, you can go ahead and soft mod with this kit supplied by xbmcxbox.blogspot.com. Right, at this point, we now are going to check that we've got an empty hard drive because we don't need game saves in there. We just want to have an empty hard drive for all our emulation purposes. So we're going to go back to the main screen and scroll up to memory and just have a little look to see. Okay, so Xbox hard drive here. Just having a look inside it. Got absolutely nothing on there, which is where we want to be. So we know we can go ahead and install the soft mod. Happy days. So shove your memory card into your controller. And here it is. You can see there, there's two files. There's the Linux installer and the Splinter Cell installer. So we just want to copy this onto our hard drive. So just activate the file and copy it onto Xbox hard disk. So away it goes. Shouldn't take too long. It's a pretty quick process. All in all, to soft mod your Xbox it takes under 10 minutes with this all in one handy service. So we go to the splinter cell file, do exactly the same thing. Copy, hard disk, Bosch. Job done. That's literally as easy as that. Okay, so it's all copied onto the hard disk. What we want to do is go and retrieve our copy of Splinter Cell. Now, if you don't have a copy, you can rent one uh, from this website, xbmcxbox.blogspot.com, or you can just pick one up yourself off eBay for a couple of pounds. So in goes my Splinter Cell. It's just going to boot up. Loading screen. It takes a little while this. Um, just bear in mind, you don't need your memory card in there anymore. You can remove it. There's no need for it whatsoever. Let the hard drive do all the business. Um, so you don't need to wait for any of the loading screens here. You can just press start um, and initiate a new game. This is how we are to access the soft mod bits and pieces. So I've just pressed start. Okay, now we want to go to start game. This does need to be Splinter Cell by the way, it can't be any other game. So in there you'll find a Linux profile already. So we just want to access that, press check points and it will start the soft mod process. So here we go. This is the next screen you'll see. First backup EE Prom. Now you want to click that. Okay, and you want to backup EEP ROM. Now you can read all this information, but 
just go ahead press yes press ok and off it goes pretty quick there we go now it'll bring you to this screen back up return to main menu you want to click back up again you get a little smiley face okay happy days return to your main menu evolution x that's a sign that's working now go down to basic install on that same screen and just install your new soft modded dashboard i chosen here evolution x dashboard so i'm just going to go ahead and click this read the instructions carefully make sure you're happy with this install so just press yes install some more jargon make sure you've got enough hard drive space press yes and let it do its thing it's going to do a test to check your dashboards or kush d so off we go okay and it's just popping its files into the right structure and um, this is literally the final piece in the soft mod so once again just jump onto xbmc xbox.blogspot.com it's um you can you can do a soft mod on your own um by hunting down all the files and whatnot but transferring them onto the xbox memory card can be a bit of a pain so if you want the easy solution pop onto that website buy or rent uh, there is the option of renting the memory card with the soft mod kit on there and you can even rent a copy of splinter cell grab hold of them just follow these simple instructions and you'll be soft modded in no time at all now i will advise you if you don't have an ethernet cable you will need an ethernet cable because once your xbox is soft modded in order to get software uh, so backup of uh, backup of games uh, various emulators etc you're going to need to go old school you're going to need an ethernet cable from the xbox straight into your router so you can manually pop files on there via an FTP yes that is old school uh, myself when I was doing this I hadn't used an FTP in a good long while so just bear that in mind go and grab yourself an Ethernet cable ASAP you probably got one lying around in a cupboard somewhere just get a hold of it so that's done that install is now done press OK we go here's the little reboot okay now press a it wants me to press a I will press a so this is going to activate a hidden load of rubbish so off I go let it do its technical thing We will be covering off how to go about transferring your files that you have, your backed up games, um, onto your Xbox in a later video. Uh, for the time being though, uh, we can't promote enough how easy this soft mod is. So if you want to get up and running, you can do that. There is a tutorial. If you can't follow this video for some bizarre reason, jump onto the website. Um, xbmc xbox.blogspot.com there is a full blown tutorial on there so you don't have to listen to my voice you can use your eyeballs and read it so it's telling me now the soft mod is completed so I think we should go ahead reboot and see what our home screen looks like ok press ok one more time and in we go And there it is. That is my new dashboard. Launch DVD, games on HD, applications, emulators, MS dashboard, etc, etc, etc. It all looks very slick and nice. So I've got nothing in there at the moment, but as I said, we will cover this off at a later point. So thanks for watching. Remember to head on over to our website. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video, leave a comment, etc. And remember to subscribe, we'd like that very much. Our website is here at this address, thegamesshed.com. And we do have a Twitter account if you've got any other questions for us, which is at Gameshed. So until the next video, thank you very much for watching. 
Goodbye.